Hey friends, there is no shortage <laughs> of exciting events in Indy and today we're focusing on ones that also have a special cause yes. associated with them, making a good impact. We're talking youth sports, development, other charitable causes. And we've got Janine Babamoyer from the City Moms with us Hi, to Janine. talk us Hi, through friend. them. Hi, friend. Good to see you. So good, good to see to you, too. Here. We love this concept. I know we've said it before on the show, where you can combine a good time with a great cause. Yeah. Yes. There's so many events like this happening. And they're a good excuse to get dressed up. Oh, there you go. I mean, yeah. There you go. yeah. So I'm actually wearing my outfit that I'm going to be wearing to the first one that we're talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah. So the first event that we are showcasing is Museum by Moonlight. Oh, oh fun. fun. Children's Museum. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we have gone to this every for the past, like, I don't even know, seven years that they've had Museum yeah. by Moonlight such an exciting time. You know, it's an opportunity for you to really get out and explore the entire museum. Okay. Um, and don't forget like five floors of fun at the Children's Museum and they've got the outdoor sports legend experience. Um, they've got a silent disco, they've got food and drink, but the best part about Museum by Moonlight, it is completely kid free. Oh, all right. So, I mean, how often are you yeah. able to get into it's the not, Children's It's not museum? free for kids, it's kid free. It There's a big difference free. there. Exactly. Yeah, it's an exactly. important distinction. So it's just, it's such a wonderful experience and, ever, and this year they're theming it a little different. It's going to be um, Ever After, Museum Ever oh, After. Okay, cool. fun. It's kind of a fairy tale feel. That's yeah. why I'm sort of feeling yeah. like fairy tale it is today. Yeah. Whimsical. Yeah. We, we, yeah. Have a, we have a Drew connection, a Drew Ever After being the Drew Barrymore we movie. Do. We do. We were, I know. It was like week one of, of yes, our show launching. We got yes. to be with you. We did a segment with the City Moms for the Drew Barrymore yeah. show. Yeah. If you cool. haven't seen it, you can look it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. It's just Hi, our Drew. friend Drew. Yeah. Our friend Drew We know she's watching. I know it. Yeah. But getting back to Museum of Moonlight, you know, this benefits the Children's Museum Fund, cool. you know, and it's just, which is obviously amazing, Ob goes into kind of like youth programming developments and uh, really fantastic. So that is August 24th. It's coming okay. up in just a couple weeks. All right. Wow. August 24th. That'll right. be such a great event. Okay, moving on to the next event. The next one I know is a favorite of ours too. Yes. And this is another way to get dressed up in theme. Yeah, this is Swing by oh, yeah. the Indianapolis Indians. So last year was their inaugural year. Yeah. This year they've, you know, I don't know that I saw any kinks that needed to be worked out last I know. year. Cool. It was really a fantastic event. So yeah. this is at Victory Field. It'll be taking place at the end of September, so the 27th. And it benefits the Indianapolis Indians charities who are really focused, like you said earlier, on youth sports, yeah. um, especially in the, in the community. But the really fantastic Thing about this, it celebrates that bygone era of baseball, which is in the 1930s. So you're gonna see lots of pinstripe and menswear and yeah. hats. Yeah. But the thing that we love about swing, thing about swing, I love it. There we go. We just coined it, coined a little the thing, thing about, about swing. swing, yeah. about swing um, <laughs> is you get access to the to Victory Field. Yeah. And there's just something so spectacular about the activations they have out there. I agree. Being under the stars, just oh my gosh, incredible. I it's know. such a great venue in our city too, and to see it transformed. Uh, is really, really fun. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna be there this year too, so. I know, That's and the, just one. the connection to America's pastime is just yep. absolutely yes. perfect. That's a great one. Okay, the third and final event. I know we unveiled it on the show and yeah. we gave away a pair of tickets to some of our lucky viewers, but this one is yeah. gonna be incredible too. This is exciting. This is amazing. So this is by Chris Kindlemarked, and you know, they do everything so incredibly well. Yep. So, Wondernock, it's called Wondernock. Wondernock. Wondernock, yes, yes, yes. Say. Yes, it's coming, and that's going to be November 20th. So that is benefiting some TBD, still local nonprofits, Great. but really the ones that are activated based on culture. Um, so the ultimate kickoff to the market before it opens, again, is going to be adults only. Yep. Free market food samplings, ice skating, so many things you can be doing. Yeah, this is literally an award-winning, I mean, years in a row yes. uh, event in our city. And shout out to Maria and the team at uh, Chris Kindlemark for putting it on. It really does sound like a lot of fun that this party is going to give you that exclusive preview of Absolutely. the event. Yeah. They've never done a preview party like this, no. so this will be really cool. Yeah. Especially having an event in the winter. Yeah. You know, I know. It for. seems like it's going to be such a great kickoff to the holidays. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that sounds really exciting too. And just a hot tip as well. If those those three, um, you know, are events that might not meet your calendar this year, but yeah. you do want to support another fun fundraiser. Check out the, the community charities and local nonprofits that you are already connected to. Yeah. Many of them have events they run throughout the year. That's so. great. Well, yeah. the City Moms, you can find free membership there 
great resource, uh, especially if you're new to the area, or maybe you've been here for a long time and you're just looking for some fun new stuff, thing, things to do around town, give Janine and her team a follow at The City Moms on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you, friend. Yeah, yeah thanks so much. Good to see you as always, and I'm sure we'll see you at these events. Absolutely yeah. well. <laughs> yep, yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Janine. Coming up next, we're going to give you a look at some of the popular menu items that you can try at Schoolhouse 7 Cafe in Fishers. We're back with more Indie Now right after this in just a couple of minutes. Stick around. Two cups of coffee.